we mentioned obviously is our first day talking to you. Friday was closed. We were told it was a feel good reason. Is that anything you can tell us about what was going on on Friday? You know, I, I really do appreciate you guys uh, working with us on that. I had an opportunity to uh, to go home and uh, actually spend uh, surprise my mom on her 80th birthday, and I had to ask the football team for permission, and they granted the, granted the permission. So therefore, I flew out there and surprised her on her 80th birthday party. I have not been at my mom's birthday party since 1979 because of football. And uh, to have an opportunity to, to spend that day with her was extremely, extremely uh, emotional and, and exciting at the exact same time. And um, you know, I, I always I talk to the team about God, family, and football, and, and how close family and football is. And you're embarrassed about it sometimes, about how close that line is between two and three. But, and it has to be that way because you love the game, it's gonna be like family to you. So my family and my mom understand that this is my job and on that date, I'm in camp and I'm doing things, but for, once again, for the football team to give me an opportunity to go back and, and celebrate that day with her and my family, I really do appreciate it. They kept it under wrap decently. I hear that one or two of you guys out there actually got wind of it and, and kept it underneath the rug and I do appreciate that as well, I really do. Thank you very much. Did you say 80 years of age, yes, sir. How'd you celebrate? What'd you do? Uh, we danced. <laughs> Where'd you fly back to? Uh, she kind of lives between San Bernardino and uh, uh, and Redlands, but we had the party down in San Diego. She go by Patsy. Excuse me. That's that is her birth name, yes, sir. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you're not giving? It's hard to single one of those things out. You're trying to get me in one of those times. Is, is this like Jerry Maguire and all this kind of stuff, you know, trying to make me cry and all that kind of stuff? You have a stuff. lot of expressions you use on the field. I wonder if any of those came from her. No, my mom actually doesn't know very much about football, which is kind of ironic considering my dad played and both my brothers played. And I still remember one time I came home after a game and I had fumbled the ball twice in high school. And, and came home and she said, how'd your game go? And I said, oh, mom, I fumbled the ball twice. And then she said, I am so glad that you're doing so well in your sport. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said that I knew right then. I need to stop sitting there and talk to my mom about football. But she loves the game. She knows the difference between winning and losing, and she always watches. So it's, a, it's always special when you get an opportunity to spend some time with her. And the football team did a little video and sent it to the party. And uh, I actually got a chance to show it to her. And she was really excited because she always watches the guys. And, uh, it was really good time. It was it was really really emotional good time.